Hi everyone, Corey here from Head Rush. Today we're going to set up the Head Rush pedal board with Ableton Live for direct recording, playback, and reamping. Let's get started. If you're a Windows user, the first thing you want to do is install the driver. Open a web browser and navigate to headrushfx.com. Click on the support link and you'll see a download link for the Headrush pedal board driver. If you're a Mac user, the Headrush is class compliant, so there's no driver necessary. Once the driver is downloaded, click on the installer to start the installation and follow the prompts. You will not need to restart the computer when it's finished. Before we open Ableton, Power on your Headrush pedal board and connect it to a free USB port on your computer. Then, touch the dot 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 in the top right corner and select Global Settings from the menu. Find the option for USB Audio and select On to jump into USB mode and connect the Headrush as an audio interface. Your sample rate will say it's offline, but this is normal for now until we connect it to the software. You'll notice that there are three USB modes. Live, DAW, and Reamp. Live will send an audio signal to your computer as well as to the Headrush outputs. This is going to be the same signal. DAW will bypass the main outputs and only send the guitar signal to your computer. Output from your DAW or other software will then be sent back to the Headrush for monitoring. Reamp is similar to DAW, but a signal can be routed back to your Headrush pedal board, which will then process the signal with the chosen rig and send it back to your DAW for recording. You can leave this on live for now, but we'll go over how to use DAW in Reamp in a minute. Now we're ready to open Ableton. The first thing you want to do is assign the Headrush as your sound card, so you can transfer audio back and forth. Go to the Ableton Preferences menu and select the Audio tab. For Windows users, set the driver type to ASIO, and then find Headrush Pedal Board ASIO in the Audio Device menu. For Mac users, set the driver type to Core Audio, and set the Input and Output device as the Headrush Pedal Board. Next, click on the Input Config button, and make sure that all inputs are activated. Do the same for the Output Config. Each of these input and output channels carry different versions of your signal back and forth. Inputs 1 and 2 will be the full stereo signal after the effects, the same signal that's sent to the master outputs on the Headrush. This is the signal you want to record when you want to hear all of your distortion, delays, amps, and any other effects that you're using. Inputs 3 and 4 are both the direct guitar input. This is the dry signal with no effects applied. Both inputs are identical. Outputs 1 and 2 carry the stereo playback signal from your computer or DAW. This is sent directly to the master and phone's output for playback. This is usually used for the main output of your DAW or other software so you can monitor your guitar signal while you're playing. Output 3 is used to send an audio signal, like your dry guitar signal, back to the pedal board for reamping. We'll go over how to do this in a minute. Output 4 does not have a use at this time, so there will be no reason to use this. With the inputs and outputs enabled, go back to the global settings on the Headrush and set the USB mode to DAW. Now we're ready to create some tracks. In this example, I'm going to create three tracks, one for the wet, affected signal, one for the dry, direct guitar signal, and one for the reamp signal when we cover that later. I'm going to name them main, dry, and reamp, respectively. With the tracks created, set the main track input to input 1-2, this will record the stereo affected signal from the Headrush. Next, set the input on your dry track to input 3. This will record only the direct dry signal from your guitar. Finally, set the reamp track to input 1, 2. This will record the reprocess signal when we're ready. Record enable both the main and dry tracks to record both channels simultaneously. This way, I'll have both my original process signal and my dry signal as a backup. Remember to set the monitor on your main track to auto so you can hear what you're playing. If you experience any latency or delay, turn down the buffer size a bit in the preferences. Mac users can adjust right in the DAW preferences, but for Windows users, use the hardware control panel. Around 256 samples should be good for recording. And when you're ready to play, hit record. And there it is. 
we've got the stereo wet signal with distortion, amps and all, and then we have a dry guitar signal. Now what if I decide that this part really needs a delay or reverb? That's where the reamp comes in. First I'm going to go to the global settings and change the USB mode to reamp. This is going to mute the incoming signal from your guitar and will only process signal coming back from the computer on channel 3. Back in Ableton, mute your main track so that you can focus on the sound of the reamp signal. Remember to set the monitor on your reamp track to auto so you can listen to it. On your dry track, assign the output to the Headrush pedal board output 3. And make sure the track is turned on and not muted. Now it will be sent back to your pedal board for processing and you can hit play to start auditioning your effects. Add or change any effects on your Headrush rig as you see fit. I'm going to add a reverb effect to my pedal chain. When you're ready, record enable only your reamp track and hit record. And there you have it. The same exact performance but with a new sound. That about covers the basic recording and reamping with the Headrush pedal board in Ableton. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them in the comments section below. We'll put answers to common questions in the video description, as well as links to other videos, tutorials, and guides. Thanks for watching.